I built the fastest gaming PC ever, is what I would have said about six to eight months ago when I was planning this whole build. But I was missing an important piece. Zoom in for dramatic effect. Some fast DDR5 RAM. So it came up with a fail-proof three-step plan. Step one, spam everyone who has RAM. Step two, get the RAM. Step three, winning. Do you know who I am? No, you hold please. Hello? Hello? You have fast RAM. Me want cause muy expensive. It's good when you can use uh, English and Spanish in the same sentence. Forever yours, Brian. If you don't give me RAM, then bad luck will come to you and your company. I'm just a poor kid. Me parents are too poor to buy me RAM. Everyone at school makes fun of me for not having DDR5 yet. This is me dream. It's good to misspell things because they think you're uneducated and will feel sad. Then give me RAM. This is all gold. I wonder if I can still download RAM. I was so overwhelmed with everyone just wanting to work with me, uh, so I ended up just biting the bullet and just buying some myself. So, good news. I spent all of your college savings on some fast DDR5 RAM. You're going to have to get a job now. Dad, I'm only eight. How will I get a job? But as you know, technology moves quick. And during all this time when I'm trying to find this unicorn, the 3090 Ti, which I still can't even say, Ti, uh, and the 12900 KS came out. Whatever, it's only just a slight performance increase. So we're gonna go ahead and push on, we're gonna build this beast, and we're gonna go ahead and change the title from like the world's fastest gaming PC ever to eh, one of the fastest gaming PCs. Almost the fastest PC, didn't get approved. Neither did swing and a miss fastest PC. But good thing during this time I got to work with the amazing Bits Power, who's also sponsoring this video, so thank you guys. I'm gonna do a follow-up video, part two. I'm gonna test out Halo Infinite, uh, CSGO, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Solitaire using stock speeds, and then I'm gonna overclock and test how much performance gain we get. Let's build this beast.
This build we're going to use is a 3090 Founders Edition. Uh, this card is a beautiful card, I think, with the air cooler on it. Uh, it's, you know, it's unique, and I love this thing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw a block on it. We're going to go ahead and overclock it. We're going to test it. Uh, the block that we're going to throw on is Bits Power. Uh, this thing is beautiful. All right, after countless hours of figuring out the tube runs, this is what I have come up with. Um, so those are gonna run with the parallel flow. And uh, I'm not really happy with this, but you know what? This is the way it's gonna line up. And then now, we're gonna go ahead and actually install these brass tubes in place of these PETG that I was just using kind of like for prototypes here. So let's get it done. Lovely sound. It's like honey to the ears. Totally not annoying at all. And I just want to give a heads up, like how I'm currently building, like I'm tripping over camera stands, um, lazy boys. Um, I got stuff everywhere and I can barely move. Ugh, I need a studio. Glad you guys are comfy.